Hi guys, good evening, me again. Welcome back to another episode review here on The Edward. I'm your host, Steady, and in tonight's video, I'll be giving you my delayed episode review for the third episode of th season one of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, which was great. Such a good episode. Now, before I get into all of that, let me explain something. I was out of town for about a week, so I'm catching up on my content, including shows I fell behind on, like The Daryl Dixon Show. So I been doing my slow reviews of and uploading my reviews of this show so this episode I'm sure most of you have seen but in case you haven't seen it and you were behind or you are behind like I was you don't want to keep watching or listening as I will be discussing spoilers plot details character stuff all that jazz that being said you have been warned let's dive right back into it so first and foremost um great world building I really liked seeing the post-apocalyptic side of uh, Paris, the community of believers or people who seemingly believe that Laurent is the one or the Messiah, like truth and hope or truth is hope or something like that, whatever their phrase or saying is. And then we got this really cool looking uh, nightclub type of deal, which of course Isabelle's ex is running because why wouldn't he be running some lucrative nightclub in the post-apocalyptic France? Of course he would be, you know. So that was really cool to see. I liked the introduction of the new characters, both enemy and ally. You know, I was curious as to what exactly was going on with the scientists experimenting on the walker that seemingly pulled itself free from its chains and then its head seemingly burst open when it was banging on the glass or whatever. And they're like, 18 seconds, that's progress. I'm like, okay, progress for what exactly? And then um, that was cool to see. And then, like I said, it was very cool seeing this post-apocalyptic side of Paris and the nightclub and the community of believers and the, <laughs> the, the sweet old man with the homing pigeons and whatnot. It was very, very good episode. Had a great twist in it, too. We finally got the reveal of Lauren's father, um, Isabel's sister's secret baby daddy. And, of course, it turned out to be none other than Quinn. Uh, and, of course, he cheated on Isabel with her, own, with her own sister back in the day. And, apparently, he was the father. And he didn't even, he didn't know, much like Isabel didn't know up until you know, right before it was too late that her sister was pregnant. So, of course, he had no idea that he's had a son this whole time. So now, of course, he's become very interested in our traveling trio or of uh, Isabel, Laurent, and Daryl. And, of course, that's just going to present problems for them all later on, as there were many problems throughout this episode as well with, like, uh, the big scary tattooed face guy and his goons finding Daryl and uh, chasing him down and whatnot and uh, having that awesome rooftop fight and whatnot. That was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, overall, great episode. You know, good world building, great introduction of new characters, both allies and enemies alike. Awesome new locations. I loved that they took the catacombs from the victims of the Black Death way back in the day. They took the catacombs in order to get to the entrance of this literal underground nightclub, which I thought was very cool. So like I said, this this detail was very, this episode was very full. Full in terms of characters and uh, locations and interesting storylines and an exciting twist or reveal that Quinn is the father of Laurent. You know, that was a really interesting reveal that made me go, oh, shit, no kidding. So that was pretty great. And um, yeah, overall, I really liked this episode and I'm really enjoying this show. This feels like one of the best spinoffs they've done in a long time. Of course, Dead City was pretty great too. I really enjoyed Dead City. I gotta watch it again. But man, this this Daryl show is really sticking the landing too. At least I think it is. What do you guys think? What did you guys think of this latest episode and that big reveal regarding Quinn and Laurent? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Were you expecting more, expecting less? Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Stay tuned for one more video. I've got a post of Daryl Dixon. I've got episode four I need to do a review for, which will come either later tonight or early tomorrow morning. So, 
stay on the lookout for that. Thank you for bearing with me and your patience. I do appreciate it. And have a wonderful rest of your night if I don't see you. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.